Today in second grade, we are going to be starting our learning in unit number three. This is unit three, lesson one. And in this lesson, we're going to be measuring with a ruler. Now, many of you have probably seen a ruler before. You might have even used one. You probably have one somewhere at home. And in this unit, we are going to practice using a ruler to measure different items. Now, to practice measuring, it will be very fun if you would like to use a ruler at home or maybe at school with your teacher to measure different items. See how many inches they are. See how many centimeters. Today, we're going to practice using a ruler in order to measure things. The first question that we want to ask ourselves is what is a ruler? Well, here on the screen, I have put a photograph of a ruler. Now this ruler might look a bit different than a ruler that you have at school or at home. Rulers come in many different colors and many different materials. The ruler that I have on the screen is a clear plastic ruler. You might also see rulers that are plastic, but are in different colors, like red or blue or purple. You can also get a ruler that's made out of wood, or your grown-ups at home might have one that's made out of metal. All of those are still rulers, no matter what material they are made out of. If you take a look at the ruler on the screen, you will probably notice that both sides of the ruler have different numbers. Now on the top of our ruler, we have the numbers that go from zero all the way up to the number 12. This side of the ruler measures in inches. Inches are a very common way to measure. Many times when we go to the doctor, they might measure our height in inches. Another way to write inches is just using the letters I-N and then putting a period. I-N period stands for the word inches. So on a standard ruler, I can measure something that can go all the way up to 12 inches. Now, the other side of our ruler also has numbers on it. So let's flip our ruler around. I actually am going to turn the whole ruler. We don't want to try to read all the numbers upside down because it's not going to work as well. On this side of our ruler, our numbers go from zero and they go all the way up to 30. So there are way more numbers on this side. This side of our ruler measures in centimeters. Now, centimeters are smaller than inches. We can fit 30 centimeters on this ruler, but we could only fit 12 inches. Just like with inches, centimeters can be shortened. This is a pretty long word to write over and over again. So we can use the letters C m and then put a period in order to say that it is centimeters. On your ruler, you also might notice that somewhere on your ruler, you might have the letters c m on one side. Take a look at your ruler and see if you have the letters c m. I have some right over here on the left side of my ruler that I just highlighted. Many rulers have CM to show us that this is the side for the centimeters. Make sure that when we're measuring, we always check if we should be measuring in inches or centimeters. And that's the side of the ruler that we would like to use. Something that we are going to be practicing this year in second grade is we're going to be practicing drawing lines that need to be a certain length. In this problem here, they would like us to draw a line that is five centimeters long 
with centimeter marks. We haven't talked about those yet. Let's look first at our ruler. I saw in the problem that we need to measure in centimeters. Now, if you remember, centimeters are smaller than inches. So I want to check my ruler just to make sure that I have the correct side up so that I can measure in centimeters. Oh, look what I see. There's my CM for centimeters and it's pointing up. So that means that my ruler looks good and I'm able to start measuring. Another really great thing about using a ruler is it can help you draw really straight lines. Now this ruler here on my screen is not a real ruler. Since I'm making this video on a computer, I can't hold my ruler down. But if this was a real ruler in my hand, I would hold down the ruler right in the middle with the opposite hand that I use to draw or write. That will help me draw a straight line. So I need to make a line that's five centimeters long. When I use a ruler, I don't want to start in the middle of a ruler or at the end of the ruler. I always want to start measuring or drawing at the zero. That is the start of my measuring. So I always, always, always start my line or start my measurement at the zero. So I'm going to start making my line and I'm going to make it five centimeters long. Let's see what that looks like. Let's start at the zero and I'm going to go all the way up till five centimeters. There it is. Now, of course, I used a line feature on my program. I did not draw that by, my, by myself freehand. So there is a line that's five centimeters. I started at the zero and I stopped when I got to the five because that is where it told me to stop for a five centimeter line. Now, it also mentions that we should use centimeter marks. Here's what that means. Everywhere that there is a centimeter line, that means at zero, one, two, three, four, five. If it was a 10, we would go all the way up to 10. I'm going to put a little mark with my pencil. I'm going to start at the zero and I'm just drawing a little line to mark that centimeter. Then I'm going to mark at one centimeter, two centimeters, three centimeters, four centimeters, and five centimeters. These are called centimeter marks. I'm just putting a little mark, big enough that we can see, but not too big, at each one of the centimeters. And I also put one at zero because that starts our centimeters. Let's try the same thing for this problem. Draw a line that is three inches long with inch marks. So this time, if you notice, our ruler is flipped around because we need inches, not centimeters this time. We always need to look at our measurement unit. So I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to draw a line that is three inches. Let's start at the zero and go up to three inches. There we go, that's about three. And then they want us to show those inch marks. Now, just like with centimeters, we only put a mark at each inch and we do start at zero. So we have zero, one, two, and three. These sections are much bigger than when we did it using the centimeter side on the last problem. Look at how big those spaces are and look at how small those spaces are. That's because if you remember, inches are bigger and larger than centimeters. Another thing that we're going to do in second grade is actually use a ruler to measure items. 
Now, sometimes we might measure lines or pictures in our math activity books, but sometimes we might measure with real objects that we have in the classroom or at home. The question on this page asks, how long is the object? Now here we have a yellow pencil and we want to measure it. And if you look down at the bottom, it says blank centimeters. So that tells me that I'm going to use this centimeter side of the ruler, not the inches. It would have IN if I wanted to use inches. Now, when I put the pencil down, I don't want to just plop it right in the middle of the ruler. Just like when we drew our line, it is so important that we take our object and we put it right at the front, right at the zero of our ruler. Because we don't want to put it in the middle. If I put it over here, I might say, oh, it's 18 centimeters. But it's not 18 centimeters because there it's starting at the seven. It makes our lives a lot easier if we take our item and put it at the beginning of the ruler. Now, I'm going to use my pencil and follow all the way to the end of the item. And it is ending right about here, which is right about at the 11 centimeter mark. Now, it's not completely perfect, but that's okay. Even if it's a little bit longer, it's still about 11 centimeters. So when we measure things, we always want to move it up to the zero mark on our ruler. Let's try the same thing here with this bicycle. Now with this picture of a bicycle, when I look at the bottom, do you notice anything different? We're measuring in inches now. So I've turned my ruler to see the inches. I'm going to take the bicycle picture and pull it down. And I'm going to try to get the wheel right on the zero. Let's see if I can. It's a little bit hard here on the computer. It's pretty close. I think I need to move it a little bit more. There we go. And then I'm looking to see about where the wheel ends. There we go. Now, if you look, it's a little bit before the five inches, and that's okay. It's almost to the five inches. So we can say it's about five inches. Sometimes when we measure, something is not going to be measured completely perfectly, and that's okay. It's okay if it's a little bit off from the inch or the centimeter mark. Here's our last problem for today. For the last problem, we're going to measure to see how tall this stack of books is. And if you look at our label, we're measuring in inches. Now, this is a picture of a stack of books. So what I could do is I could take the picture and I could turn it. But what if this was a real stack of books? Could I just turn all the books on the side? I could, but I don't think I want to do that. There's probably an easier way. What if instead of turning the books, what if instead I were to turn my ruler on its side? Let's see, I'll try to make it as straight as I can. And when I turn the ruler, I still want to start at the zero, just like we did for the other items. Even though I'm measuring an up and down picture, I start at the zero at the top of the books and I go down to the bottom of the books and I see that it is about four inches tall for this picture. Have some fun measuring different items today. Using a ruler is so much fun and this year in second grade, we're going to get a lot of practice by using rulers.